Hey now, you're a math star. Get your game on, go count. Hey now, you're a math star. Get your game on, go add. When all that counting is done, we'll be adding sums. Happy math day. How are you, my math stars? I am so excited to see you guys again. Um, today, we're in module two. Again, yes, in module two. Lesson three. Are you ready to get started? Okay. Today in your book, oh, that reminds me, you need your book and a pencil. Go get it. Pause the video, go get your math and pencil. Okay, so you need your math and your pencil. Math, math book, of course. We're doing math, you need your math book. And we are gonna be on page 37 in your math book. So can you open up to 37? Mrs. Bosch, I don't know what 37 looks like. Oh, right. Let me show you. It is, I'm gonna write it on my board because I've been practicing writing my numbers. Have you? Yeah. I wrote the number 37. It is a three. Can you see it? I know it, there's a glare, huh? Three and a seven. Can you find that at the bottom of your paper? Turn three and seven at the bottom. It looks like this. It's like a park with a playground. I wonder if kids can go on that playground. Right there. Three, seven. Okay. So we are going today, we're going to count and write five. Now, I have been looking at all of your amazing assessments and you guys are doing fabulous, fabulous math stars. And I know that you know how to count to five and you know how to count to four and you know the difference between four and five because hey, now you're a math star, but do you know how to write the number four? And do you know how to write the number five? Let's review before we get started. All right, I'm trying to get the glare. Sorry. Remember for a four, we're going to start at the top line. We're going to come down to the midline. Then we're going to cross the midline. Lift your pencil, go to the top line and straight down to the bottom line. And that is our four. And that's our four. That's how you write a four. Practice. How about a five? Do you know how to drive, write a five? Let's try. Start at the top and you are going to cross the top line. Then you're gonna come down, straight down to the midline. And then you're gonna circle. And that's how you draw four. And that's how you draw five. I want you to pause this for a minute. If you have your whiteboard with you, I'd love for you to practice. Okay, so practice writing fours and fives. Pause it. I'm gonna pause mine so I can practice. Did you practice? Oh, good, because practice makes progress. I practice my fours and fives, and you know what? I feel like I'm getting better every time I practice. Okay, so now that you've practiced, make sure you erase your whiteboard if you are practicing on your whiteboard. Okay, and now you are on page 37 in your book, right? Okay, I'm going to show you your work today. Let's do it. Let's get started. Ready? There we go. We're counting fours and five. Four. Count and write four and five. Ready? Okay, listen to the story. I know it's not really a story, it's a sentence. So listen to my sentence about this picture. And how would you represent the story? Do you remember the word represent? How would you show the story? Write the number, okay? There is a number of toys, one larger than three on the ground at a park. Oh boy, oh boy. Do you remember when we did this yesterday? One larger, 
Oh man, I don't remember. There is a number of toys, one larger than three. In math, what does that mean? It means one more. If I was counting, one, two, three, four, five, and I could keep going on. If I was counting every time you count another number, you're going one more. So one larger than one is two. It's what's next. What's one, two, what's one larger than two? <gasps> three. What's one larger than three? <gasps> Four. So as we are, here we go. Let's do this. Oh my goodness. Something happened when I shared my screen and you just saw my family. I love my family and I love my family, but they don't have anything to do with math right now, except that there are five of us. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. Oh, there it is. I don't know what happened. Okay, let's try this one more time. Here we go. So we said that there are toys on the playground, one larger than three. Remember, that means one more. So I'm going to go ahead and draw. I want you to draw on your book at the same time as I'm drawing on mine. Okay, let's draw. I'm going to draw, I don't know, toys. I'm going to just draw balls because balls are easy. Two, three. Oh my goodness, those toys overlap. So one toy, one ball, two balls, three balls, because that's a big grass field and I bet we could kick a lot of soccer balls, right? Okay, three balls. But there is one larger than three. One larger. One, two, three. One more. One larger is what? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Is that what you got? Is that what you guessed? Oh my goodness, you smarty pants. Math stars, now you're gonna write your number right here. Straight down to the midline and across, lift your pencil, top line, baseline. There we go. All right, let's see what's next. Uh-oh, just a second. Okay, this is your next page. In your book, you should have it. All those baseballs oh, or softballs, whichever you want to think. I'm going to call them baseballs because my boys play baseball. Okay, how many baseballs are there? Right here, we're going to look here. How many baseballs are there? And we're going to write the number. So here we go. Let's count. Can we count? Are you ready? Okay, ready. Sorry, let's count one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what happened? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try this again. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Do you count five? Let's count them again, let's count together. And I wanna hear you, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we did count five. Do you remember how to write the five? Let's start at the top line, cross, down to the midline, and circle. Oh, good job. Now we have to count these. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Were you counting with me? I couldn't hear you. I wanna hear you. Don't shout, because you might have other people working and doing school in your room. But let's say it together. Ready, let's start. One, two, three, four. Do so you remember how to write the number four? That was good counting, by the way. Ready? Top line to midline. Cross, lift your pencil, 
top line straight down to the bottom. All right. Now for this next part, number three, find the tree. Well, that rhymes. Number three, find the tree right there. Okay, we are going to say the number and then you're gonna circle the group of baseballs that represents the number. What's represent mean? <gasps> Shell. You're going to say the number. What number is that? Say it out loud. Four, you're right. Okay, four. Then we're gonna count these groups. Here's a group, here's a group. Let's count one, oh, together. Ready? Say it out loud. Count with me. One, two, three, four. There's four in that group. Let's count the other group too, just to check. Ready? Say it with me. One, two, three. So which group has four? Circle it. Good job. Now we're gonna go to the birdie, number four. We're gonna do the same thing. This is the number five. Good, let's count. Count with me, ready? Together, one, two, three, four. Hmm, I hope the next group has the right number. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So which one are you gonna circle? Do it now. Okay, ready for the next page? Here we go. What are we gonna do here on this page? This first one right here, oh, you can't see. It's the sun, it says it has the number five. It says count how many kites, point to each kite, as you count and trace the number. Point. This, did you know this is your pointer finger? You're gonna use this finger in your book, point to the kites as we count. I am going to point with my mouse right here, my cursor, as we go. But I want you to use your fingers. Point, look. Oh, don't look. Okay, point. Do it in your book, ready? Let's count together. One, are you counting? Together, out loud, ready? One, two, three, four, four. And then you're gonna trace it, okay? Can you guys trace that four for me? And remember we learned, oh look, they have the arrows, just like we taught the five they do differently, that's okay, ready? Start at the top line, down to the midline and across. Lift your pencil, top line, down. Good. Now let's count the trains. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five cars in the train. We're gonna start right here at the top line, cross, down, and circle around. Oh. Very good, very well done, math stars. Now, in these, you're gonna have to count and write the number yourself. It's not, there's no number to trace. Do you wanna do it together or do you wanna do it by yourself? If you wanna do it by yourself, pause the video here, okay? And if you wanna do it with me, let's, keep, let's go. Ready? We're gonna count the sailboats together. One, two, three, four, four sailboats. Let's draw the number four, ready? Top line, midline, across, top line, all the way down. Are your fours looking better the more you practice? I bet they are. Let's do the bicycle, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Did I count too fast? What, I counted too slow? Okay, you're smarty pants. Okay, ready, let's start at the top. Ready, across, down, circle around. Big belly, big belly five. Good job, five. There we go. It's time for on your own. 
on your own. Are you ready, friends? Okay, math stars. For this first one, there's, there are two different pools. And I'm gonna tell you a pool sounds really good on a hot day like today. So the pool, I'm gonna tell you the story. You need to listen, okay? And I am going to tell you the story. You're gonna listen and then you're gonna circle which picture goes with my story and then you're gonna write the correct number here. I'm not gonna tell you the answer. It's on your own. Are you ready? The lifeguard is watching five swimmers in the pool. I'll say that one more time. The lifeguard is watching five swimmers in the pool. Circle the picture that represents the story and then write the number of swimmers in that pool. Pause this video while you do that. Okay, number 10. Again, in number 10, do you see there are two lines? That's a hint that maybe you're gonna draw two pictures, two stories. You're going to draw to show what you know about four and about five. And then you're gonna write the number that each drawing represents. Do you remember what that means? What that means is right here, you're gonna draw something that represents the number four or five, whichever one you choose to do first. And then you're gonna write that number on the line. And then you're gonna draw something here that represents either the number four or five, whichever one you didn't do before. Okay, and you're gonna write that number here. Go. Make sure you pause it. And now my math stars, you finished another lesson. You guys have been total rock stars when it comes to math. I have heard amazing, great stories from your parents. And I, I mean, I can tell by your assessment scores, like you are math stars. So keep up the good work and I will see you tomorrow.